Hi everyone and welcome back to another little chat with me. Uh, today we're going to talk about how you can get protein into your diet without any, having any form of meat and fish. So for those of you out there who are vegetarian who are, or who are trying to maybe lead more of a vegetarian based diet, then the first thing that you struggle with are proteins. It's very easy to get carbs in, you know, vegetables and fruits are all carb based. Lots of the root veg that you can eat are good complex carbs. But straight away, it's, it's that kind of thing. It's less accessible and just less known where we can get protein from. Now, the first thing is to dispel a few myths that plant protein uh, and non-meat product protein isn't any good for you. It is. It is. Your body absorbs it actually at a much faster rate and a much better rate. It also has less impact in a toxic way to your body. So a lot of the foods that we take on board, they're good for us and they are good. They also have a level of toxin or toxicity to it that the body has to deal with. Some products, particularly protein products, things like cured meats and processed meats, they still have protein in, so they get all that great effect of protein, you know, building muscle, reducing appetite. But they also come along with a load of junk and rubbish as well. They come along with things that you know your body's got to process. Now that, has, as, as I say, isn't the case for all meats and isn't the case for all fish. It's never the case for our plant-based proteins. So our plant-based proteins don't come with that. So when I talk about plant-based proteins, I'm talking about things like lentils in particular, split peas, so yellow and green split peas, quinoa, mung beans, pinto beans, lots of the, the kind of dry, dry um, foods that we have, which are now accessible in all supermarkets. You know, you don't need to go to a, a vegetarian-owned specialist hippie market to get it. They're everywhere now. Within most supermarkets, we now have a world food or a, or a whole food section. So it's really easy and accessible to get over to those, grab those things, and we can, we can have them to replace uh, if we've made that decision to move over to a more vegetarian base of eating. Now, the other thing that's really important when you're taking on board uh, how in which to kind of build your plan from having plant-based protein is combinations. Protein combinations are really important. Now, it's true that things like oily fish, so your salmon, trout, mackerel, tuna, they have those omegas in, they have those good fats in, and they help the body absorb protein better. They have a whole wide range of health benefits. But we can still get those from our plant-based protein if we combine them. So the best way in which you can eat plant-based protein is to combine two or three different ones. So don't just have lentils, but have lentils and quinoa or lentils and beans. So you mix a couple of proteins together and the body has a greater acceptance and a greater effect at processing them. So they work better within the body. The final thing that's kind of hard that most of us kind of struggle with within devising a, a new eating plan is just the convenience of it and also making it interesting as well. For a lot of us, it's very easy because it's so ingrained in us to eat meat and eat fish and you know, you see grills on every street and every shop corner, you can get some form of grilled meat and take up from a takeaway. Obviously, that isn't quite as accessible for vegetarian-based foods. But actually, once you get over that initial kind of fear and thinking, oh, this is going to be a really bad transition or it's going to take loads of time to prepare stuff, it actually doesn't. Using plant-based protein is fantastically healthy. It's the most nutrient-dense protein, meaning it has lots of protein within it with the least amount of calories. Now, that's really important if you're on a weight loss plan. So that means that if you're on a weight loss plan, if we get the right recipes, we can get lots of nutrients in you, lots of protein, lots of amino acids in you, and not a lot of calories. So it means straight away we're in that calorie deficit, which helps us to lose weight or maintain or balance our weight. So what the important thing to do is once you've made that decision... Get some excitement back into your food and get some organisation back in your food. I remember that's one of the great things about Switch. As well as the hundreds and thousands of recipes that we have on there, we also have ways in which you can build your own diary and manage your food through the week. That's something that we often struggle with, particularly when we move to a more plant-based diet. So we buy all those foods in. We learn a few really interesting, really tasty, fantastic recipes, lots of spices, Lots of different nutrients, lots of different ingredients into it. They taste amazing. We get three days in and then the time it takes to prepare the stuff or the fact that we, we're, our excitement of how to prepare the stuff goes, we end up either giving up 
or not eating or return to junk food, which is obviously something we never want you to do. So use those two elements of switch. Get on those recipes, look at some of your favourites. Remember, you can save the recipes in your favourites uh, part as well, so you've always got them to return to. But you know what? Build your, your diary through the week. Make a note of what it is you're eating on Monday, what you're having for dinner on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. And what you'll find is after doing that for a couple of weeks, eating a more vegetarian, plant-based diet actually is easier to organise. The food lasts longer. So you can make big pans of it or big vats of food and it can last for two or three days. And remember, the other thing to do is always make sure that you're trying to get the highest quality foods into, into your diet. And that's with regards to any form of plant-based protein. Look onto all our suggestions, particularly, as I say, some of those recipes that Faith has put together for you or some of our other professionals have put together for you. And look at some of their notes and recommendations of maybe where to get things from, what sort of stuff to look for, and how to pick your food as well, because that's so important when you're devising your own food plan. So don't be deterred. Don't let anyone tell you that eating plant-based protein is the wrong thing to do or it isn't a way in which you can build muscle or tone up because that's simply wrong. You can. You can get all the health benefits, all the well-being benefits, all the aesthetic benefits, so the appearance benefits that you would from eating meat and you can get that from a plant-based diet. So don't be deterred. Get onto our plans now. Organise your week and I hope you enjoy some of the recipes. Take care.